Hi there, welcome back. The essential title continues to evolve, it has now crossed the dimensional border and entered the 3D world. After you download and install the template, this new title 3D template is available in the effects library. Simply drag to the timeline and a title clip is ready with the 3D option enabled by default. With just one click, the title toggles between 3D and 2D and both use the same parameters to control the title styles and animations. You can check the previous video up here for more details of the features and animations built into the essential title template. When it's in the 3D mode, we have all the style settings and animations identical to the 2D title. Although some of the settings may not apply in 3D. For example, these preset style buttons don't work except for the main color changes. The settings inside the 3D setup tab will only be available in 3D mode. There is a 3D material drop-down list on the text tab, allowing us to choose different textures for the 3D text face. To use your own image or video as the texture, change the 3D material to none. Go to element 1, change the type to image. Set the image source to tool. We now have a text image input at the bottom. Drag the image from the media pool to this input field. The text face is replaced with the image. To replace the image, simply drag another clip from the media pool to overwrite. We can also use a video clip. Another way to replace the text face is to set the image source to clip. Click the browser button to choose an image or video from your file system. If you want to adjust the color tone of the image, you can change the text color. Many of these options have no effect on 3D text. Except the mapping level, which does change a bit of how the image is applied as the text face. But only the word and character levels are used in 3D. While in 2D mode, we can choose any of these options. Similar to a 2D title, we can also use these parameters to change the 3D layout. Such as moving the title. Change the type. Rotate the title with the rotation X, Y and Z settings. Please note that the path type will not work in 3D mode. The settings in the Transform tab allow us to transform the title by characters, words or lines separately. When it's set to characters, all the transforms are applied to the individual characters. While in words mode, it transforms by words. and the lines mode works on text lines. You can play with these parameters and see how they change the look and style of a title. This new 3D setup page is exclusively used for 3D titles only. We can turn on and turn off the lights. Adjust the light position. Color and intensity. There are three lights in the scene. One front, one back and one ambient light. In the text extrusion section, we can change the title's extrusion style look. Other than these classic settings, there is also a custom style. Where we can define a custom shape of the extrusion. For example, round the corner by smoothing the control points. To check the extrusion result closely, 
we can switch to the Transform tab and rotate the character to show the end side of the letters. Adding more control points to the curve, you can make one extrusion style with your very own design. The parameters in the last section are used to change the specular color of the text. The animation tab has the same settings as we use in the 2D titles. In the animation in section, we define the animation for the text entry. And the out section has the pre-built animations for the text exit. The loop section contains the animations that run through the entire duration. For the in and out animations, we can change the duration in frames. Or choose an easing mode from these drop-down lists. For example, like in the 2D mode, the type in animation also creates the type in effect. If we enable the slide effect and set the ease out curve to bounce, we will have the title bounced in from the right as the default slide in direction. These animations will automatically adjust the behavior to match the title mode. For example, in the 3D mode, the swing in rotation will transform as in a real 3D scene. When we turn on the rotation loop effect, the title will rotate along the y-axis based on the default settings. It actually rotates in the 3D space, which shows all the sides of the 3D shape of the text. As we do for a 2D title, we can also combine multiple animations in 3D mode. For example, enable the drop-in, change the angle to zero. Enable Rotate In. And we got a very cool text title entry animation effect. In order to maintain a good performance, these animations marked with asterisk cannot be used together. Except these two loop animations marked with two star. They can run together at the same time. If you want to know how to make a title that looks like it has these animation effects together, you can check out my previous essential title video up here. Or find the links in the description below. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.